Good morning, Year 5. Um, I had a couple of emails yesterday saying that some people um, weren't quite sure with how to use the column method for um, multiplying two-digit numbers by two-digit numbers. And I know that sometimes over flip chart, it's not the easiest way to show it. So what I've done is I've done a quick video, which I'll try and talk over the top of, of me actually writing that down. So have a watch of this. I'll also attach in the description a video, uh, a link to a video that might help you as well. If you feel like you need more practice on this, then please do ask me for some more bits that you, so that you can keep practicing. It's really important, especially as we start using this method with larger numbers that you're as comfortable with it as possible. So keep watching through the video that I'm about to show you, see if that helps. Let me know if that helps as well, because it might be that for maths, I have to start doing slightly different things so that you can see it in action instead of just having it on the chart. So let me share my screen and I'll talk you through it as well. So let me make it, it will be all right like that. Okay, so here you can see, I'm gonna write the sum out into the column method. So we've gone with 72 multiplied by 34. I've got my rows. So I've started with the ones, two times four is eight, seven times four is 28. So I'll put the zero in to show that we are doing a multiple of 10. 2 times 3 is 6, and 7 times 3 is 21. Finally, all I need to do is add them together. And you can get our answer. So let's have a look at a second example as well. You can see that the layout of this is really, really important to ensure that you've got the numbers on top of each other in the correct spot. So this time, we're looking at 84 multiplied by 38. Now, four times eight is 32. I can't fit 32 in there, so I've got to carry my three tens over. Eight times eight is 64. Add the extra three gives me 67. I'll put my placeholder zero in there. Four times three is 12, which I can't fit in one, so I have to carry the one over. Eight times three is 24. Add the extra one is 25. And then all I need to do is add those numbers up at the end. Um, hopefully, that might help you a little bit to see it actually done in action. Keep watching back over it as you're doing your work today. Uh, let me know if you found that helpful. Please do email me and let me know because I can try and include something like that in as many of our math lessons as possible if it's helpful for um, enough people. Um, hopefully that helps. Good luck with it. And if you've got any questions, please do let me know.